do that. <laughs> for a minute. And that is quit grabbing butts, Bill. I told you about I that. Just ate one. It was delicious. Tasted like vanilla. And we're back. We are back. Welcome again to episode 18, is it? I don't know. Uh, it's uh, a barely legal episode. No? Right, exactly right. <laughs> but it's part two. Well, it's the <laughs> second part of another riveting edition of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. I am, of course, your co-host, co-founder, and best friend, Bill Schmidt. To my right is everyone's favorite, Mr. Phil. Filthy and Phil. Filthy Phil. Filthy Philip. Because I'm a mature filthy. That's right. Yep. That's your Christian name, your legal name. <laughs> and Chris is still here with us. Chris, thank, thank you me. again for being here. Thank you. Uh, I, before we get into the topic list, we were talking about saving lives. And I'd like to share a story about when I saved a life. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And also maybe 30 minutes after, like, ruined that poor person's day. But <laughs> You so saved his life, ruined his day. <laughs> that evens out. That's okay. So, so it was perhaps five, six years ago at Wicker Park Fest. Foxy Shazam was playing, and I was so happy. It was probably one of the best shows I've ever been to in my life. And, uh, you know, it's street festival, so uh, we're just out there on the street that was blocked off. And Foxy is just rocking and... Uh, it was a really, really active, animated crowd. Like, there was a lot of uh, motion. You know, it wasn't just, like, everyone standing with their arms crossed. It was great. Um, and I didn't see this person coming, but my reflexes kicked in. So this young girl, perhaps 13 or 14, came, like, throttling to my left. I guess she was standing in front of me or a few people in front of me. Throttling or throbbing? Throttling. I was throbbing. So, oh, here she uh, comes. <laughs> I like this story. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, she is falling backwards, like, just super fast, like, heading towards, like, concussion town. You know, like, right. if she was going to hit the street, it would have oh, been bad news. Oh, this is getting better. So, I'm not filthy Phil. Oh, it's pedo Phil from now. <laughs> you... <laughs> Classic Filthy Philip. So I just instinctively reached out my arm and caught her when she was perhaps like four inches from hitting the ground. And I oh. pick why, her up. Hey, why, why, did she, why was she falling? I, uh, she had been pushed by someone. I, I don't know. Like someone had um, like, you know, people are trying to go oh, to the front. Cr- and yeah, people, yeah. I like in the, yeah. the action of being in the yeah. crowd at a, people are like, at a rock and roll jumping. show. Yeah. yeah. So she falls i catch her and lift her up and she's like thank you no problem um or she says thank you i say no problem and then 30 minutes later in the show i get pushed and i go to like catch myself and my arms go flying and i wind up backhanding her uh. <laughs> so, so <laughs> i saved her life and then i then you assaulted her yeah exactly like a monster. right you so, gotta learn how to not fall so this will teach yeah, you right. <laughs> come here so that's that's my little, that's you know, saved. A, I think that's being a little generous when I say I saved a life. But <laughs> well, you saved her a hospital trip, probably. Uh, yeah, just, or yeah. or nasty it's bruise. So, it's I don't actually know. Pe- so easy people, to die. When, yeah, when <laughs> people right? fall, it it's, could. It's very easy to die. Yeah, yeah. For any reason. She owes me. I mean, I yeah. I heard there was like I remember seeing a video where this kid, like I remember sketching all the time when I was a kid, and this kid just like sketched onto a car sped up to like 15 miles an hour which is honestly nothing I, I th- i'm pretty sure if you try well in a car it seems like an eternity but on like yeah. rollerblades 15 miles an hour is really <laughs> yeah no no 15 <laughs> not 50 yeah no, 15. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. He was still 15 you're cruising yeah. yeah yeah and he he fell and like hit his head first thing and then just like ki- got killed yeah, died right it. away goodbye then but then yeah. i saw another video of like these cra- you know like people who post like parkour shit yeah and this guy fucking was going Skidging onto like a Ferrari, so going like near 170 miles an hour on one of those those you know those uh, longboard skateboards. Yeah, <laughs> and that is insane. They were like out in the desert, and I'm like, man, you, I don't think they repair those roads. You get one, you know, over one little fucking cactus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bet the roads aren't that bad because I feel like around here, salt in the winter is oh, what yeah. really fucks up the roads. So yeah, yeah, like desert roads. Me or I, I don't know shit about anything. So, what well, do you, I know? You uh, you mentioned going to a show at Wicker Park. So, can I review my shows? No, 
No, no you can't. Hmm. Okay, all right. All right, just this once. Just Tell us. For the sake of saving my life. Yeah, exactly right. Okay. You're, oh, wait, I didn't answer the second part. Why did I do it? Yeah, yeah, why uh, did you? Uh, I don't know. It was just a reflex. In hindsight, I probably wouldn't have. But... <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> anyway, I didn't mean to be a hero, right? No, that I didn't ask for this. I didn't sign up. <laughs> you thought maybe like you'd get some money or beer, perhaps? No, or? just the fame uh, went right to my head. I lost all my uh, friends. <laughs> um, but oh my well, my hero, yeah. right? <laughs> Bill, 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 we love you. <laughs> um, Is that the Bill Nye song? That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> yeah like. exactly right. Anyway, uh, your shows. Oh yeah, Tell yeah, us. yeah. No, uh, so I saw um, Conan. On Wednesday, Conan O'Brien. Okay. It was Conan and Friends. It was uh, at Chicago Theater, which is fucking massive for anybody listening. It's like three balconies, long-ass fucking walk in the middle of downtown. And it was, Conan was fucking great. Um, But he had a bunch of people opening, like, in between. Like Like comics or something? Yeah, yeah. He had a bunch of, like, I don't know if they were friends or just people that he picked. Well, I'd hope they were friends because it's called Conan and Friends. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And... Um, I guess comics like to lie. Yeah, constantly. I think I liked. <laughs> <laughs> I think I liked one of them out of all of them. Uh, it was a local. Uh, gay, John Mulaney. It was a local gay dude from the South Side. His name was like Hunches or Bunches or something. I don't know. Mm. Anyways, he was the. Ba- I mean, there was like. Uh, I went with Kelly, and there was. Do you guys know who Flula Borg is? No. Mm-mm. That sounds made up. It sounds like you're just making yeah. names up now. Yeah, sure. dude. She, oh, well, I lie, you know. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> no, she, no, dude, she, I guess she was nuts about him before he got famous. Like, yeah, dude, it's, talk about like hacky. Oh, about wait, is he for, German? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I don't even I think he's German. I, I think he, 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 he wears like flamboyant ass clothes, like yeah. high socks, That's tight shorts. so funny. I was just watching a video that he did today. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just watching it. He was, he was doing a reaction video to his first interview on Conan. And uh, I was thinking, I was like, is this a character? It has to be, right? Yeah. Like, part of it, because he like, seems very, like, overly German, like, comical German. Yeah. You know? But uh, I c- I've never seen him outside of character, if anything. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, curious. yeah, his set was like, okay, guys, now I'm going to drop the bass on your asses, as they say in this country. Yeah. And then he, like, went on a Korg and just like, yes, drop the bass. Drop it the bass. <laughs> I was curious if he did stand up. So is it is it does it was it wasn't good, you don't think? I, I mean I don't I I'm really a picky bitch and <laughs> it didn't make me laugh like at all out loud. I mean it's rare that I do, but like Tom Segura makes me laugh out loud or like Jeff Ross I love, but Jeff Ross, yeah. Um yeah, I don't know. It was just kinda goofy. And then the rest of the ones, like the the rest, weirdly, they all did uh PDF slideshows. Like, uh, like like a PowerPoint? Yeah, or? yeah, like a PowerPoint. Like uh, like w- there's an English guy called like uh Ian Vate or something and he he was ta- he was just showing about an email that where he was trying to sell a flux capacitor on a Craigslist. Uh-huh. And he kept making up emails for like so say like Bill Schmidt. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to sell it to this I'm trying to sell it to this Bill Schmidt guy and I email him, this is true, this works. And he's like, no, it doesn't, this is bullshit. So then I made an email, future Bill Schmidt at <laughs> Gmail. And he, I'm telling you, you should buy this. This works. And I don't know, it just seemed really fucking stupid. You know? I, th- I think that's funny. I, but I, I mean, that, that's, that just seemed like something I would do in like, gra- I, I did do shit like that in grammar school. I don't sure. know. <clears throat> but I, I think he made up the story, but I actually did it as an asshole. Sure. <laughs> so... Filthy Philip was not impressed. No, I I remember when AIM AOL Instant yeah. Messenger I was miss around. AIM. Right? Do, I still miss do AIM. you guys remember AIM Clone? No. no. What's AIM? Cl- Wait, that sounds familiar. What was AIM Clone? It was it was like a hack so you can be on several uh, accounts oh, at the God. same time. The super nerds were doing that. <laughs> super nerds. Super like, nerd. I'm a regular nerd, and then those are the nerds that we beat up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got beat up a lot <laughs> <laughs> by the nerds. <laughs> no, but. No, I, 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 I think I, 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 do you guys? Re- okay, so before I embarrass myself, what was your guys' uh, s- names, screen names? Sexy oh. Billy twenty one twelve. Wait, what was this? Sexy Billy twenty one twelve. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh my god, you're lying. <laughs> so was mine. That was. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, that's really funny. Mine was Dark Spider Man God. 
because Dark Spider Man was already taken. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I really wanted. <laughs> so I put God at the end, and that's what it was. My, mine was Freak with a PH, like Phil. Six 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 nine because six 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 was taken. <laughs> 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 this is like fifth grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's what we did as rough as fifth or sixth grade. And, uh, and then and then shit. um so so what I did was, uh, everybody. I mean, I don't know. I guess fifth grade in the nineties. Everybody was trying to get some feeling on some tits. Oh yeah. So so I made up another name that was called Hot Princess eight eight eight. Nice. A- and I'd I'd like message my you were friends. My girlfriend. <laughs> you told me you were what? a woman. I got catfish. I got catfish. <laughs> Those are the best six years of my life. So so I talked to these guys like yeah. Yeah, the funniest a- away messages. <laughs> <laughs> Your profile that was all a lie. Uh, but yeah, he, he, uh, I would message these like friends of mine and be like, "Yeah, meet me at the park and I'll show you my boobs or something." And then like I get all my friends go there and we just throw the mud at the person. <laughs> 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 yeah. So. <laughs> so. Throw mud. So that's why I grew up to be an asshole. Yeah. You know? uh, so what my friends and I did, and I don't know this might, I'm probably gonna sound super fucked up, um, and this is like some deviant shit. So. Uh, oh, you just wait. We got some more <laughs> topics. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what my friends and I would do, we'd make fake account names. So, uh, they'd be like Cali Girl, uh, Cali Girl 98, you know, or like mm. really. She you sounds know, hot. Yeah, right? Doesn't she? Yeah. So, then we go into <laughs> chat rooms. <laughs> that and was my second girlfriend. <laughs> <Cali>. <laughs> yeah. So, then we'd get these guys and be like, hey, you want a cyber? And we'd say, oh. yeah, sure. ASL. Oh, we're. Uh, 17 female Long Beach or you know hello whatever. my name's Chris Hansen <laughs> <laughs> so kind of what, what are you doing time? so <laughs> <laughs> so we'd be cybering and um, we would take it like really in like a really graphically violent direction <laughs> <laughs> I like it man. so <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was like there was one scenario like a schoolgirl sort of thing and he's like yeah I Take out my my hard dick. It's like, oh, <laughs> we, we put it in the pencil sharpener. <laughs> oh God! Ouch! Why would you do that? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what my friends and I would do. Peel it like an onion. <laughs> <laughs> We'd also ask um really really vulgar questions to Yahoo Answers. Yeah. Like uh, when I'm uh, jerking my dog off, how can I tell if he's enjoying it? Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> People would get really <laughs> upset. About I think I think I would do that too with the Hot Princess one. Where <laughs> like, do you guys remember Rotten dot com? No, or, or it was it was like Faces of Death. Oh yeah. God. So, yeah. so so they so they would eventually be like, yo, send me a pic, and I would send like a picture on there. So it would be like a war <laughs> photo of like a fetus that was set on fire. Oh <laughs> my God. God. They had some bad stuff on the internet before it was regulated. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a little right. bit at least, like now. But back then it was like the wild, wild west. No one was looking out for pedophiles. I know. I'm pretty I, sure all I talked to was pedophiles on your internet. Like, <laughs> I'm sure they were just targeting me. It was fine. I remember talking to this person, and my <coughs> aunt was there, and I was like, the the person she she said she was like. 12 and I was 12 and then for no reason she was like are you circumcised <laughs> and then I was like I, asked, I, I looked at my aunt and I was like what does circumcised mean and she's like she just turns off the computer she's like nope uh, go to your room <laughs> go, to, go, go do something else yeah, now. grab a bible You're and pray talking to this person anymore yeah no one was looking out for that back in the day it was crazy and then yeah pictures back and forth I remember steak and cheese dot com what is that it was like the site that my buddy showed me that had like the most fucked up videos you ever seen there was this one called guinea pig like exodus and basically it's just this weird like they do bits about a guinea pig that are shitty but at the end they jump on it and so i was like oh, i watched man. the whole video and they killed a guinea pig and i was like what the fuck is this yeah it was like it exploded it was bananas and i was like well i'm never going on this again and then there was this video called penis won't stop bleeding and we could <laughs> not we to this day we're still curious like we couldn't bring ourselves to watch it it just a uh, penis won't stop bleeding and we were like no we can't we're 14 <laughs> oh <laughs> man so you know the the internet trifecta lemon party oh god and blue waffle uh Is it, do oh yeah that? do you count blue waffles oh yeah that? uh <laughs> i didn't but that's a good addition uh tub girl 
I don't know what Tub Girl is. Oh, man. That sounds harmless. Look it up. Uh, nope. To all of our listeners out there, look it up if you're <laughs> over 18. Do Did you direct these? Yeah, my Based on a true story, but right. Bill. <laughs> my big Hollywood you, debut. Your demeanor and the way you're dressed, like, you're, you're <laughs> I highly recommend these. Uh, Check it out. There right. also yeah. Two Girls, One Cup. Oh, you one. know, yeah, I yeah, never yeah. watched it. I watched it. And it was awful. It was awful. <laughs> it was so bad. And then I did a review. With and my buddy. That was also bad. <laughs> <laughs> but but it got stellar reviews. Uh, we were yeah. It was gross. Don't don't watch those videos. There's no point. Dude, when you when you said that not not stop bleeding dick, that just reminded oh like <laughs> like I think it's so funny when when when, when And that's something else. This is Dick won't stop bleeding. Oh, yeah. Dick will Non stop bleeding dick is <laughs> way, yeah. way right like here. Punk band for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but they, like, I think it's funny whenever you talk about that shit. Like, as a dude, you definitely feel like, oh, fuck that. You could feel the hurt. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> because yeah. I was listening to, uh, I listened to this true crime serial killer podcast, and they were talking about this guy called the Candyman, who I guess he owned Cabrini a. Brittany Green. Or is it a different Candyman? No, no, it's a different. It's like the actual like serial killer Candyman. Okay, and, and he owned a. He he was pretty much John Wayne Gacy, but he just lured kids in because he'd be like, "Oh, you can hang out at my factory and eat as much as you want, just as long as I can bring you to this room and tie you to a fucking cross and do whatever I want with you." Jesus, and, sure. And, and fucking, kids were all about that, dude. He was talking about how you know those you know those lollipops that are like a cylinder and they're a swirl, like the like the really big colorful ones yeah but sometimes they're like pencil thin because he said he would stick that in a kid's stick and then break it and it shatter and i'm like oh my fucking god <laughs> like i i had to switch to i had to switch to a different serial killer you know? jesus oh my like, god yeah it was it's it's fucked i don't know but the internet is fun yeah yeah it, it's I, I like to hear that stuff when i have a cunty boss which i'll get back to that subject later <laughs> but <laughs> Like, I'm going to put a piece of candy in his dick and crush him. <laughs> oh, no. no but That's <laughs> Anyways, so so the Conan show. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, segue back to that. Right. What was it, Fleur LeBorg? It was, yeah, it was Flula, Flula, like Lula, but with right. an F. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, whatever. I like his interviews. He seems funny in interviews. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't, I'm not, I think it's, like Kelly explained it, like she grew up with it. She was telling me that, like, so you know how he was DJing at the show? I was mm -hmm. like, Flula, I guess he used to have his own like Skype thing where you would type in shit in the chat and he would make a song of whatever words you type in. Oh, that's cool. So you could like type in your name and he would, you know, ex that's a good idea. pronounce it in a fucking, you like know, that. German accent. Yeah. yeah. But um yeah, I don't know. It was overall I I loved Conan. That was fucking I got some cool uh acrylic pins. For nice. Free. For free? Yeah. <laughs> we were giving a, a shitload of like free acrylic pins. That's really cool. But uh What then, other merch do they have? They just had nothing. It wasn't merch. It was just that that free shit. And then they didn't have a merch table. No. Huh. I did, I I don't remember seeing one. I don't. Yeah. I mean, but uh. So overall, one to ten. Seven. Seven. Seven, seven because I didn't get to see the rest of Conan because I had to go home and wake up at five in the morning the next day. Okay. Uh, so God. that's a bummer. Yeah, that's so yeah. early. I mean, he did a fifteen-minute opening and it was really funny yeah. and. It's kind of crazy to, cause like I grew up, with, I I started watching him when I was like, in seventh grade. I remember he was on, I remember I'd watch Simpsons, on Fox, and then nothing was on after. I think Frasier was on and, Seinfeld or yeah, and 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 then after that I'd watch Howard Stern. But whenever commercials would come on, I'd watch Conan, and I got into Conan more. Hmm. So I think I got into Conan because System of Down was on. Oh was, really? They were on Conan. Yeah, yeah, like like their first album. That's crazy. Yeah. I would like to rewatch that. That sounds awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. But uh and so let me tell you about yesterday's show. Yesterday's <laughs> because, show. Yeah, yeah. I I went I went to see Smashing Pumpkins uh Christmas show and it was fucking amazing because I have loved like you know how everybody grows up with like that band that they stick with for life? Sure. Right. Like for my dad it was Pink Floyd. For for like my stepkid Gavin because he grew up with his grandpa like Beatles for me it's definitely Smashing Pumpkins yeah and like dude it was fucking great but I could not um I don't you, you look like you were about to say something mm -mm. Oh. keep going well yeah so so no it was I I kept hearing have you ever heard of Albert Hammond Jr. Yeah 
I had strokes. Yeah, I never heard. I, I I kept seeing that at like the Metro because you know he's playing. I'm like, oh, that's he sounds like some, you know, like super trendy. I don't know. Like like I, I he kind of is. But I, but it still <laughs> sounds good. But but I thought it was like some Steve Aoki like dubstep stuff. <laughs> and then, and then I saw him. He, he was fucking awesome. Yeah. It, it was really good. He's good. Wait, I, he played with. He he opened up. He was the first band before Smash Pumpkins. Okay. And how many he, openers were there? Him and then one another one. Okay. And that I mean, it sounds like it sounded to me like the Strokes mixed with maybe like at the drive-in. I okay. Don't know. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, it was he put on a good show. And then, dude, the second band, so good. What was the, do you probably the name of the band? Granddad. Worst band. fucking band I've ever seen. Really? In my, I go to a, so many shows. I don't exaggerate. Worse than Sheer Mag with the five hundred pound singer. Worse than Stargazer Lily. Oh yeah, absolutely. I like Stargazer Lily. Oh, all right. I mean, they, no, they they don't they're they're not good live, but I still love that band. But sure. no, no, Granddad was so fucking bad. Oh my god, everybody. Once one person started like yelling boo, everybody started screaming shit. Oh my! Like, no, dude, they fucking the crowd turned on them. Yeah, yeah, oh. including me, because because you, you know that you know what I did? like. Everybody laughed their ass off because you know when uh you know that video of uh, Trump's inauguration when that lady goes no, <laughs> like he he went he was getting mad, so he's like yeah. So anybody n- y- you know for the seventy people getting involved in our songs, guess what? We got five more for you, and I just. No! <laughs> and he looks right at dude it was so fucking bad it was like why was it bad dude wait it was what was the band like was it a band was it just a yeah it was band? it was a band it was a complete fucking copy of every song was a different like rage against the machine riff okay. and then he was doing spoken word and then like in between songs not side note this guy has like he's got a it, it, it's i mean he's like this white dude with a huge like angela davis afro and then he's got a mustache like dick pubes and he's got his voice sounds like perry farrell on helium <laughs> straight like and, like and and he's he's real he, his his wrists were so flimsy like he just like so when he's doing this spoken <laughs> when he's doing this when he's doing the spoken word, he's like, this next song is about police abuse. You did it. You did it. You did it. You you know what it's like. You're from Chicago. Let's start this bitch up. Who's with me? He's I'm, like, this, I gotta look up this band now. I'm gonna it was so fucking bad. Oh, my. And every every song is that one rage riff. It, it, like, literally, I'm not joking. It'd be like, dun, 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 dun. And every, like... I felt like every syllable ended with E. So just picture that riff going. Dun, 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 and it's like, yeah, this is the philosophy. It's all about me, about this hypocrisy. Let's choose land over sea. It's just <laughs> over. <laughs> That's pretty good. So. I'll listen to that. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> dude, I cannot. Oh, man. I, 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 I just, it blew my mind that they would. Like, it blew my mind that, first of all, like, Albert Hammond Jr. was an after him. Yeah. And then also, like, they, they sound like somebody who'd play, you know, at a fucking VFW or, <laughs> you know. So were they the first, very first opening band? No, no, they were the they were after Albert Hammond. I mean, oh, weird. So, so, yeah, it was really, like, I mean, I mean, he was getting so nervous. He's like, all right, anybody who isn't down with this, with this political stuff I'm saying, you can go somewhere, and that's called the bathroom. And then, like, <laughs> Whoa. And then, and then oh, they're granddad. just like, they're just like, okay. And then the next song, like people are still booing. He's like, "All right, I understand. You want to stay up front for Smashing Pumpkins, but I'm gonna be in back signing if you want any autographs." And they're like, "No way!" That's <laughs> so weird. Oh. That sucks. What an opportunity they squandered then. That's, yeah, playing right before Smashing Pumpkins. That's huge. Yeah. Still, I mean, I, it, it just bothered me that like, like this. That's all he is doing. That's already been done. You know what I mean? So, so it's kind of yeah. like riding a fucking coattail. You know what I mean? That's still with a horrible voice. <laughs> so I oh man, that's still like come on, crowd. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, okay, I'll go shit in a bucket, and we'll see if you say "come on, crowd" for me. Okay. I, you know, they're doing the best they can. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, it's it's weird to be a, a comic, and then like, yeah, I'm a little sensitive about heckling. 
Because I hate when oh, I yeah. see it. I hate when I see it, but I mean, that's a different scenario. Mm-hmm. It's weird to see. I forget that musicians get heckled too. Yeah, <laughs> it's been a, it's been a while. I've been heckled as a as a musician. I I've always felt bad for like musicians that get heckled, but yeah. that time I was like no fucking. That was just. I mean, it would be like like uh, you're saying like you like Tom Segura, yeah, or John Mulaney. What if you, like tomorrow you're opening up for them? You know, that'd be bananas. I mean, like I in your place you wouldn't feel right, sort right. right? Like yeah, I I'm not That's up to this. You know. That's interesting. So, so Albert was good. Granddad Horrible. was was far from grand. Yeah, and then the Smashing Pumpkins. Absolutely awesome. Um, I don't know. It, you know, it was really funny because I I always talk on the show how much Billy is a fucking douche mm-hmm. <laughs> and how much I love James because a lot of the songs he writes is amazing. And he was, you know, it was it was the full lineup other than Darcy. And, oh, you know what else? I mean, I wasn't pumped about this because I don't give a shit about them, but uh, each night there's supposed to be a special guest. And so yesterday was the singer of Rise Against. <laughs> uh, oh, well, uh, is that so. Lauren Grace or is that Tim against me? Oh. Armstrong, I think. Wait. Tim something. What? No, not Tim, not Armstrong. Tim Armstrong. He's ranted. What's his na- Do you know? No, I don't remember his name. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm not nuts about Rise Against, but I, the, the other thing that was awesome is they uh, – um, J- the w- Billy stepped off to change into his other crazy costume, and James' song "Friday I'm in Love" by The Cure, which was fucking awesome. Oh, they That's they awesome. played it. Yeah, yeah, nice. It was fucking great, and and yeah, I don't know, but yeah, it was it was a great show. They they played. They had one song that they didn't play, uh, that I really like was Mayonnaise. And I was ready for Cameron's head to pop out. <laughs> 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 he no. loves it when people say that. Man. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I, no. But they played like everything that was fucking great. I, I don't know. It was it was as cheesy as it sounds. It was like pretty fucking life changing because I've been wanting to see them since eighth grade. You know, so I don't know. It was a good show. That's awesome. Good. They uh, it was because it was a Christmas show, so they had like a. So they played s- all their Christmas album songs. No, no. <laughs> a very smashing Christmas. Is that is that real? No. No, <laughs> comics lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, they um they had a, they had a Santa Claus and a bunch of like uh midget people dressed up as elves okay. to take pictures with. There's a snowman. Um just, you know it's just ridiculous. Yeah, no, you know it was really ridiculous cuz it's sponsored by Q101, the radio station yeah, and like WKQX. It's also man. sponsored by like sports clips. So so like in between like random moments, like that was granddad Remember sports clips. It's good to be a guy. You know. Oh God! <laughs> so it can be sports uh, clips. It was yeah. It was really goofy. Don't that tell me that you're sponsored by those guys. <laughs> Actually, funny you should mention that. Okay, goodbye. Today's episode is <laughs> brought to you by sports clips. You watch hey, sports. Look look, look at the sh- look at the shine in Billy's haircut on that bald cap. God. <laughs> That but shit doesn't make sense to me. That sports clip shit, like stuff geared I towards men, it. or like you know, uh, head and shoulders for men. Does that make any that. fucking sense, really? No, it absolutely doesn't. It's it's just garbage. But it's your hairdresser is dressed up like a referee. Isn't yeah, that fun? Jesus Christ! She keeps, or he, rather, keeps all their supplies ch- in a little locker. They should change the meaning of head and shoulders, like getting a blowjob and a massage. <laughs> you know? Ooh. <laughs> well, what makes it for men? Do you have dandruff on your penis? Is <laughs> that really what's happening? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Like the stuff geared specifically towards women or specifically towards men I'm, doesn't really make yeah. any sense to me at all. I'm not even trying to be offensive. Like I wonder which gets more dandruff, flick of vagina or a penis stick. Uh, what? I would. <laughs> I would have. I don't know. Probably penis. I would say. I mean, I'm not a doctor. It depend. I mean, <laughs> is that a it, thing? What, Do you what, get dandruff? Well, head and shoulders no, for men. Th- I mean, that's why I'm asking, oh. Mr. Sports Clips over here. That's that's the commercial for head and shoulders. <laughs> no, yeah, like, yeah. You don't have dandruff on your penis, and he's like, I know exactly. It's just <laughs> it's <laughs> just ashy, rotted skin, you know. Yeah, woo. Well, they call that something else. They call it smegma. <laughs> 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 you ever hear smegma? No, what is smegma? Oh no, I remember <laughs> the, that. The other word is dick cheese. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, is smegma the scientific term? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I heard it when I was like in high school, and that's what they're calling it. Well, that's, that's oh what no, it is. It is a scientific term. I think. I think I googled it. Huh. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like a little. F- it's like a gross film that forms on your penis if you don't wash it. Ugh. Yep. That's what the gym smells like. That's what I decided to talk about. 
uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> I need a uh, different adult. So, you know, what it probably is is the smell. Like, for men, probably smells like... Sawdust and so, so sawdust <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. and rodeos. <laughs> sawdust in your crotch, man. That doesn't sound good. Uh, no. Well, it's called uh, like this head. Oh, okay, that head and shoulders. <laughs> okay, it smells like I'm a getting football. confused. Yeah. Yeah. No, like it's I'm probably, not a real man. <laughs> well, probably because like there's head and shoulders for ladies, which there is, but it's why. What's the f- the smells, man? I'm telling you, it's the smells. I, I head and shoulders that. for the decapitated. It's ooh. so with just shoulders. Oh, no head and shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, so anyway, yeah. you had a great time at Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, you know what's awesome is like before that, I, like because obviously people are there to see them and they're gonna play. They have a shitload of great songs. You know, the encore was like ten more songs, and when yeah. that happened, they dropped a shitload of like yoga ball sized red and green balloons. Nice. Mm-hmm. That was really funny, and that was and part of like the the knights who stole Christmas. Yeah, series. yeah, that's what it's called, the knights who stole. But um, um, the yeah, the funny thing, like they kept spiking it into Billy's face, the balloons. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just stops. See this fucking crowd, man. <laughs> he stops the song. He's like, you know, old Billy would get mad at this, but how about you guys? I love balloons. You can go pounce them all. Burning in hell with your balloons, okay? And then he continued the song. <laughs> so <laughs> that what a <laughs> that crowd sounds awful. Yeah. Like, oh, we hate Granddad. We love the Smashing Pumpkins, but we're still gonna fucking abuse the singer. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I'm completely content with that feeling. Uh, no? um, I can, I can explain myself. <laughs> that's that's the the Buddhist influence in your life, like yeah. fucking with Billy Corgan. No, you need you need some you need some balance, and 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 you know what? Buddhism has nothing to do with art. If you're a bad artist, then wh- I mean, in Buddhist, you know, with ba- in Buddhism and balance, you know, if you tell an artist you're a piece of shit, that's going to, in turn, positively help them to get better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you that's a, I'm that. sure that's why people are throwing balloons at Billy to encourage him to <laughs> to well, to get better. Well, we, well, he, they're throwing <laughs> shit because because of karma because he's he's a huge dick. So isn't that sort of the rules of karma? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I feel like that's not the path to enlightenment. Right now, I, 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 right now, this is karma. Me telling you the truth, okay? Because you don't know the truth about Billy Corgan, man. I, I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> no, no, keep, keep it. Uh, no, 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 no. All right, let's change. So you saw Coney, you saw Smashing yeah. Pumpkins. Did you get any merch at Smashing Pumpkins? Uh, no. No, because like a t-shirt is probably like sixty dollars or something. Yeah, like that. yeah, and 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 I don't like. I think a lot of their shirts because they're like an old school band. I think like the shirts online are better than like a tour shirt. Yeah, because they keep trying to like update their logo. Like you know that you know the heart with the S and P. It now it looks like an arrowhead because it's like futuristic. Ooh. So mm. I don't know. I I don't know that I wouldn't get merch for. There's few bands that I do get merch for. Really? I feel like, yeah. Huh. I, I always more or less try to get at least a shirt, a tour yeah. shirt specifically, just because uh, I am a 27-year-old man-child and I still wear <laughs> band t-shirts everywhere I go. Oh, no, I'm good. I, yeah. I've, I've been thinking. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I got this because I like the design, you know. Sure. <laughs> that... I'm no, I have a power trip long sleeve shirt. <laughs> oh, is <it laughs> but so I, you do buy merch. I, I'm sometimes. getting a shitload of long sleeves lately because I because of welding because I don't want to burn my arms, mm. and I never really like. I was like, why the fuck do people wear long sleeves? And I don't know. I think I have a reason for it now. Sure, but uh, I don't know. I always wear long sleeves or like at least a sweater or an overshirt. Chris, yeah. how do you feel about sleeves? I like uh, what is it the quarter. Oh, like the like, like the, the baseball, baseball. Yeah. yeah, like the baseball tees. I like those. All right, so tell me, I have this uh, two concerts I've been to. I've picked up those, and the bottom I find always starts curling into itself because it's not like hemmed or it's not yep. sewn. Do That's you? What's happening. Is that? I'm wearing one right now. How do you how do you combat that? I don't know. I More just, crunches. I, I, I didn't notice it until you mentioned it just now. Now I'm super self conscious. Oh, I'm. So <laughs> <laughs> well, it is rolling. What the hell? I feel like I need yeah, to start buying extra larges because it's a large, but then like it starts rolling up on you. So yeah. now you're. You like, gotta t- you gotta tuck it in. I never noticed that. That's, That's right. 
I, I do tuck it in, but I feel like there's not enough. I think I just need to move to extra large for those baseball shirts. Um, I think I'm not giving you any more candy. <laughs> Dude, so <laughs> fucking... That's the problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's not helping, yeah. but yeah. I was... Uh, I spent the past week in Ireland. Yeah. And the my nana i went there nice to segue baseball to that, Ireland. that well yeah. i'm getting to the point i know no, no, just no, I, I know let me talk man all right i'm um, sorry man i don't want to talk anymore you were <laughs> mean to billy <laughs> 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 you owe mr corgan an apology oh um, i thought you were talking about I you big were, b- billy b uh, yeah, yeah. You were talking both, both, both billy the third person yeah. you've both been Billy's. very no I, when i refer to myself in the third person i say daddy <laughs> 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 that's how you'll know daddy's mad um, <laughs> So, uh, it was that the same case that when you saved the thirteen-year-old girl, Daddy saved you. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then Daddy had to discipline her later, so I gave her a whack. Um, so we go to Ireland. My father, my mother, myself. My mother's mother still lives in Ireland. So special shout out to all of our Irish fans. Hey guys, um, do you have a lot of family there? How how big is your family there? Oh, uh, not like cousins or I've got some cousins going to school in Dublin. I've got family living in France. I'm sure there's like distant relatives living in Ireland, but um, really, my mom and her mom, or my mom is from Ireland, so her mom. Uh, so you I said you said Dublin, right? No, 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 no. Uh, we're on the west side of Ireland in County Mayo in a town called Swinford. So. Would you say that there's like a difference between like a major city and like the outskirts? Yes. Yes. Of course. Like he, there is? Like w- the house that we have in town got internet like six months ago. Oh, wow. And we have three channels and or like TV channels, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, huge difference. But so around the country, like town population 1,400 and 10, 15 years ago, uh, there used to be like 50 pubs in the town mm-hmm. for the 1,400 people, <laughs> which is a ridiculous yeah, that's uh, many. ratio. Yeah, that's, that's... That's like the Starbucks. That's quite a few. Um. Yeah, or Subways. <laughs> yeah. Like a Subway sandwich, Subway sandwich. Um, side note, can I tell a side note? No. Yes, of course you can. Funny thing about Starbucks, I read recently that there were, that Starbucks made a policy because of how many motherfuckers are there on their computers that they refu- that they put they I don't know how but they established some kind of firewall where porn is not allowed <laughs> at <laughs> That's there. That's fair. Sure. So major porn companies like Pornhub and X Hamster and shit they banned anybody in the who works for them in the buildings to drink Starbucks. <laughs> I think that sounds petty because it's fair. You shouldn't be watching porn in public, right? Yeah, that's who doesn't. You know, yeah. No, who does? Who goes to like the Starbucks? Like, yeah, I'm gonna grab my my americano, just dude. Sitting when I worked in that logistics office, wh- and you're in there eight hours a day. What are you, what are you gonna be looking at? Like your work? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. <laughs> Were you, were you saying that because you were sitting there watching? No, porn no, because I would see people. I, I don't want to get. I don't want to get a boner at work because I don't want to. I'm not going to be able to control it and have to like go I in some right. meeting room and jag. Just happens. Yeah, yeah. I have to go on break again. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tom, you sure do go to the bathroom a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and you always have some Elmer's glue on you. What? Hey, you're, <laughs> Elmer's glue. hey, Pete, why are you sweating so much? <laughs> yes. So. We're in this country town. My nana is now in a nursing home, so we'd go and visit her, and she gave me some money to walk around with, you know, like, as a gift, like, hey, get something nice for yourself, mm-hmm. and uh, everything- What, what is the, they use as currency? The euro. The euro, okay. hmm So, one euro is worth about, I think, a dollar twenty okay. American. And is worth like eighty five cents sterling, which I think means British money, but I'm not sure. Mm. But like on the radio, they would say, like you know, eighty eight cents sterling to one euro to. I've always heard sterling is like an adjective. Like, oh, you combed your hair. That's sterling. You look really? sterling. I've, yeah, I've heard it as like sterling silver. Oh, but yeah, I don't. That's all I've heard. Yeah. I, anyway, I don't know. So, 
Nana gave me some money. I would buy shit and I would show her and I'd be so excited like, Nana, look at this awesome, awesome blanket I bought. And she'd say, oh, Billy, you know we have plenty of blankets at home. Why didn't you just take one of them? Why are you wasting your money? It's like, oh, Nana, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got roasted by Nana. Yeah, was dude, Nana, Nana was, ah, uh, Billy, you've always been chubby. You know that. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck. Those baseball shirts aren't rolling up on you. Hey, <laughs> uh, have you thought about moving to an extra large, boy? So... The reason I'm telling this story is because I bought a sweater, a nice woolen sweater in Ireland. Mm -hmm. And I run to Nana and I show her, I'm like, Nana, look at this sweater. It's lovely, isn't it? And she's like, you know, we've got so many sweaters at home for you to take. I buy your uncles two sweaters and they've never worn them. You should take them. And then my mom and dad like jump into the conversation like, no, no, no. His uncles are much smaller than him. Like he would never fit into their sweaters. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, did I like? I'm losing weight. Like, did I like explode? And so I went home and I tried the sweaters and they fit me perfectly. And it's like, fuck you guys. Like, I'm I am big in confidence. I'm I work it maintain yes. a big presence, but I'm not that big of a person. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. And so anyway, that's. In summation, that's <laughs> that was my trip to Ireland. Fucking fat Getting jokes, r roasted by that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I I got I got burned on Thanksgiving with a. Fa it reminds me of my family issue. Um, my so we started playing Jack in the Box on the computer with because yeah, like Fibbage. Yeah, oh, I like that game. Or it's those, so much fun. Types of games. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah, Kelly's family loves them, and we all love them. But my mom, she just wants to talk about how depressing your life is and doesn't want to play. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Classic she, Ursula. So, so she just starts going around the house and she started, try, like, Kelly had, like, a jacket and then, like, a hoodie. She starts trying her shit on. I'm like, and everybody's like, what, what wait, the what's are you your, doing? Yeah, what's your mom doing? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, that's, I guess, that's, that's what my mom's idea of fun is just try people's clothes on when you go to their house. Without asking? <laughs> Dude, and my brother burned me so bad he's like yeah kind of like you at grandma's in poland huh because my grandma is just like my mom they pass on the whole i'm so depressed doom and gloom so while she, my grandma was talking i i admitted i i completely got naked and tried like full grandma like underwear and everything on and i started <laughs> dancing with her cane in the <laughs> kitchen <laughs> This is so like that's Buffalo Bill shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, so, so putting she, lotion in baskets and stuff, you know, yeah, right, yeah. guy stuff. Yeah, ah, yeah, it's a Polish thing. So, so she burned me pretty bad, <laughs> or he burned me pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, don't talk about that. Yeah, leave mom alone. She's just trying on your fiance's clothes. Yeah, relax. But at least I was doing it to be funny. No, uh, or who knows? I'm a liar. <laughs> yeah, you waking something in yourself. It's, so like so actually kind of feel nice. So your mom like went up to like Kelly's closet? No, no. Was like there was just a bunch of like a like everybody had their coats and shit on the seats in uh in the living or er, in the dining area. And every and she just started she's like, and Oh, look at me. <laughs> you know? <Was> she, <laughs> I don't know. Was she doing no. her, yeah, right. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Yeah. Was she yeah. doing her Kelly impression? Uh, like, I no, I don't know. Like pretending to be Kelly? Like no, oh, I'm married I, to Phil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I don't know what she was doing. It explains a lot about me, doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I don't know what the hell that was about. Grandparents, parents, yeah. they're crazy. <laughs> well, speaking of family, you, you want to hear a funny Gavin story? I sure do, dude. This, like, when I realized it after, I was laughing my ass off, but I was so, dude, I had a rough-ass fucking week, because I had trouble at work, which I'll get into, but the other thing was, um, after, the, yeah, the fucking night after Thanksgiving, you know, like, we're- Black Friday. Yeah, yeah, we're, like, partying, like, like, like we were here late for Thanksgiving, you know, trying to mm. play games and shit. Dude, I don't know, I never got an ear infection, so I don't know what it feels like. Dude- I wake up in the middle of we, we got drunk and we ended up watching you and Gavin. Oh uh, sure. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a different night. Yeah, we got drunk and just watched Gavin. <laughs> yeah, no, I, no, but we um, me uh, like like the whole family, we were getting a little messed up, and then everybody left, and me and Kelly were gonna watch uh, Mystery Science. We mm -hmm. watched this really fucking weird movie. I think I liked it more because it was weird and not funny. It was called Fun in Balloon Land. 
and it's uh i don't even know if it's really a movie it's it's just <laughs> there's a shitload of people who have built you know like balloon uh people like in parades yeah like, like there's like a, floats uh, yeah yeah floats there's just they had access this movie it seemed like this director had access to every fucking float you could picture like oh i want a pinocchio with a santa hat and a sword in his hand and then they <sighs> built that float into a story into the story somehow and then oh we have a caterpillar with uh y- you know a gun and we're gonna build this into the story and the whole movie is these kids walking up to these random floats and then there's like a dubbed voice like hello i'm <laughs> holding this gun i don't know why but it's good for protection so that's why like it was <laughs> it was it was really messed up. like is this a recent movie no no th- i mean it's mystery science theater oh. so so it's so Got i it. Yeah, and and then in between they keep clicking to a parade of like philadelphia and all the fucking band members are off and, like it looks like the, they you know oh right. here comes the mentally challenged area of the parade <laughs> no but like all right, that was too bad. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I, I I don't know how else to explain don't it. Don't apologize to us. Apologize to the listeners. <laughs> I apologize <laughs> to our loved ones in Ireland. And will you apologize for using midget earlier? <laughs> that was yeah. such a lot. What's the ever. proper word? Yeah, uh, little person. Little person. Little person. I believe. Or just person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Height uh, challenge. Like, hey, buddy. No, don't say that. No. I, oh. I call everyone buddy, but there's a comic who says don't do that. Don't call people buddy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Homie. Uh, I, 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 yeah, Chum. Let's, do, let's let's go to homie. Crum. Let's yeah. Do that homie. Instead. Homie is the politically correct. My drugs. <laughs> and have some maloco. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No, but uh, any anyways, so like I go to like I'm like ha- you know pretty drunk watching this weird movie. I'm like I'm gonna have some fucking crazy nightmares, dude. Middle of the night. Y- you know when people cry. The, it's like a high pitch <laughs> and then a low pitch. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear, <laughs> like constantly moving up. And I wake up, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Am I hal- like hallucinating some right. shit from this movie? And Gavin was screaming, crying, because he had like some ear infection. So I couldn't get any sleep that like it fucked up my sleep for our, the whole, you know, four day vacation. Uh, and I just keep hearing. <laughs> and I'm and I keep thinking, I'm like, dude, is this like some shining dream where some little girl <laughs> got her lollipop taken away? Because that's what it sounded like. Like, it's, is there some ghost? And then I hear it's the infection thing. But the funny thing was that, like all that day I was so fucking pissed. Then later. I, and he kept going, it hurts, it hurts, but it hurts. I go to drive him to Taekwondo <laughs> and like later that day. And um, I don't know what I ate, but I tore horrible ass in the car. It smells, and, oh, wait, it smells. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smells. We, we run out of the car. We run because we're late, late and we come back later. It's like, oh, it smells, it smells, it's still in here. <laughs> like, <laughs> God, it was like, <laughs> oh, Poor <man>. Gavin. Yeah, <laughs> Gavin's no good. Very bad. No. He's gonna fucking completely hate me when he grows up and watches these. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that's that's the Gavin story. Uh, I don't, have you guys ever had an ear infection? I'm yeah. sure I had a ton when I was a kid. I don't I think so. I mean, I don't remember having like. I think the worst pain I ever had as a kid was like when you had like a fever flu. You know. I feel like every kid at some point gets an ear infection, like young, like three, four. I, I don't think I ever had, yeah. No, uh, like, all right. Maybe I don't. <laughs> You're just wrong, man. Uh, I'm maybe I, <laughs> yeah. All right. Then, no, I don't know. It sounds bad. very common. I just, I just, I was lucky. However, I did get kidney stones. When you were a kid? No, as an adult. I was just like, I'm oh. like the kid of adults. So. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, kidney and what that was rough. like the most painful. It was yeah. I had to go to the hospital. It and was like what bad. they gave you a morphine drip, and they're like, "All yeah. right, yeah, basically." There's yeah, here's painkillers. Have fun, yeah, sport. There's nothing that you can do about. Well, there is, but the the, the operations like, like it's like super expensive sound waves that get shot into your body and right. shatter them. But it's like tens of thousands of dollars, or something ridiculous. It's not sound affordable. waves. Is it is it of Granddad? Yeah, like, yeah huh. it's just that song that you don't like. Yeah, yeah. go to dude, the bathroom. Yeah, yeah, dude, you know, you know, I felt so bad because I'm epileptic. I failed to mention this. The guy next to me 
started having a seizure. Oh shit! And during grant because like you know all the lights and shit, but I don't know if because you have to understand as an epileptic, like I sympathize more for other epileptic uh, epileptics, and I felt so bad for this guy that he had to listen to Granddad rather than the seizure. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me put it that way. That's, that, that's my review of Granddad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the seizure probably made it better. Yeah, yeah. So just check out. But, yeah, I don't know. So, I, yeah, so I mentioned um, to this, yeah, to this segment of pranks that I'd like to, because, okay, so I've been having a horrible, uh, I had a really fucked up situation at work, and, uh, I'm not going to mention where I work because <laughs> I got in trouble for an older episode about this. But yeah, let me just get in. <laughs> no, let me let me describe this boss to you. And what would you do? I think I told Bill, and Bill agreed that everything is okay because he likes to be a sarcastic bastard. What? No, <laughs> no, no, no. But no. And anyways, no. I I got this boss. So he like he thinks it's like 1950, and he'll he like started karate chopping shit out of my hand. Like if I'm doing it wrong. Uh, so uh, <laughs> he 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 dude this Mr. this Miyagi? dude this this fucking place is so old school like all the all the machines in there they look like we're building shit for world war ii they're they're, they're so and and all the like it's like 80 percent old Polak people fucking like and th- they half of them are so old that they just play poker and smoke cigarettes behind machines mm. Which I called a lawyer, and they're like, "Oh, that's no, that's not illegal. That's just bad management." So, I guess let them play poker and smoke cigarettes and and get paid hourly. But this fucking boss, like, he okay. So first of all, he started. Um, they updated his computer from an Apple two E screen, so like the size of I don't even know what to compare to of a fucking yoga ball screen, like a microwave. To, yeah. Yeah to a flat screen Ooh. and uh my card was fucked up like the barcode and i told him like i needed it updated he's too lazy to get it updated so the next day i tried to scan in he starts karate chopping it out of my hand and he goes no this is how you do it and he keeps slamming the scanner against the monitor i'm like yeah yeah that's how you do it you slam shit against the monitor and he's like don't, don't you know listen i come here from poland and i work at this company for 20 years i know how to do this i'm like listen I worked on computers for two years. I'm pretty sure you don't fucking do that, motherfucker. You know, <laughs> like, so anyways, he, so yeah, he started to get, that's when I drew the line because he, he would do shit like when I wouldn't do overtime, he'd tell me shit because I work Monday through Thursday, like 10 to 12 hours mm-hmm. a day and he'd get mad when I wouldn't come in on a Friday. So every time he would like talk louder and call me a baby, but only when other guys are around. They'd be like, oh. like, hey, guys, you going for overtime? Not this fucking baby. Not this baby. Yeah. And, I mean, I ended up getting... It was like the one time I did stand up for myself. I told them, I'm like, yeah, because babies, they stay in and they get to get food served to them and they suck on titties while you're going to be here with all these old onion stench fucks in this <laughs> factory, you know? And they, uh, yeah, so... Anyways, he he keeps doing it, and then and then like you know what else? He um, this is the most fucked up thing. There's other, there's okay. There's another welder who uh reported him, who is like this old school black guy, cool as fuck, mm-hmm. and he will t- like he was trying to tell me he's like yo man you can't you can't you can't fucking mess with Jake you, you know he he hate him man he hate it and I'm like I don't know what you're talking about, and then he the, my boss comes in he's like. You want to talk to him? And then in Polish, of course, because he doesn't want the fucking un- Polish knocked off his ass, tells me, do you want to be just like that? And then pulls an N-bomb. Oh, shit. And, 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 and it's funny because it's like, it's not in Polish, it's not much different from American. Let me put it this way. It's the N-bomb, and you add ski to the end. As sure. Oh. So he knew exactly what yeah, he was. It's yeah. not like, oh, any, any oh he's sa- a garbage person. Pulling yeah. the slick. Yeah, and then, and then so I tell him, like, because I'm, like, so shocked. I don't know what to say. I'm like, well, what about this black guy? He's the best welder on the line. What have you got to say about him? He goes, oh, he's one of the good, and then m Oh, Jesus Christ. You know? And and, and then, and, and this shit's all the time. Like, And, and the worst part is, is, like, anything you ask him, it's a lecture with me. Like, if you ask me, hey, man, can I go to the bathroom? He goes, let me tell you, like like that shit, the old guy who puts his fucking foot on a log and puts his hand on his knee. Yeah. Let me tell you something, Chris. 
That's what he, like I was um I was 20 minutes late cuz of the blizzard. We had a blizzard in Chicago which was fucking like what? Yeah. Fucking three feet high of snow and like my I I I had to they didn't plow our parking lot so I had to like shovel all the way to the main road. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh, do, you know, I'm just small talking. I'm like, hey man, you know, uh, it's a fucking nightmare out there. Did, was anybody else late? Let me tell you something, Philip. A good employee comes in whether there is tornado, earthquake, or wife is giving birth. Glory, and then there is, glory, and then there is workers glory, like you. It's 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 like his or here I asked him um I started getting vision problems but I I mean it's stupid I found out I was just really sl- uh sleep deprived yeah so I asked him I'm like you know I'm not, I don't have the vision plan do you think I can opt in for one month get some glasses and then opt out and he's like let me tell you something Philip you are thinking like gypsy immigrant but uh, we are drowning in a world full of Jews. Who r- mm-hmm. controlled this? Mm-hmm. And uh, you're you're not going to make it, you know. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding? So, uh, he bitched at me because I wasn't clocked in, and I snapped on him. I'm just like, you know, why don't you fucking treat me like an adult? Like, why are you always such a fucking dick? He went in my face, started laughing, saying that I'm wor. He goes, I'm worse than a child or even a dumb broad. And oh, no, he's a garbage person. Yeah, so I and, and and I'm like, well, that's not how you fucking talk to people. That's illegal, and this ain't fucking 1950 yeah. because, and at the time I was like, uh, straightening some metal pieces out to uh, because it warps when it gets heated. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? If we were on the street, I'd be instead of straightening those, I'd be straightening those fucking crooked teeth of yours yeah. out, <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> he uh he goes all right well i don't need worker like you i don't need y- y- your job is done you you you're i don't i don't need you here. so i i went and reported him yeah so it's on file and apparently i talked to a lawyer double edged sword because they were saying that basically i got a raise from him recently yeah so i'm a good worker but he's just a douchebag and i put up with this shit so if they do fire me, I have like a lawsuit because yeah. it's like, why would they fire me? I just got a raise. Right. But if yeah, I've they, heard about that actually. So yeah, I don't know. You still work for this dude? Yeah, and oh, and to, to so so this is an entire very long <laughs> intro to the prank segment, and let me teach our listeners how you prank people, how you fuck with them. I've been fucking with people my whole life because they've been fucking with me. And I would like you guys to know if I've gotten, a ch- I'm a changed man. Because they used to be much more violent, you know? Sure. Uh, I worked at a place where I used to carry a hunting slingshot and marbles with me and shoot people's windows out. <laughs> or, uh, or you know, uh, maybe like throw some thumbtacks in their car seat so they sit on them. Now I moved on. So here's what I'm thinking to do with this guy. Um, I found out that the two things he loves the most... Um, <laughs> He, <laughs> that is already started up diabolical. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> about what you love the yeah. most. His wife and his children. <laughs> you got one of them. <laughs> you got one of them. His his daughter, because okay. I mentioned that I'm getting married, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I bet she is not like this s," and shows me a picture of his daughter. It's like fucking our eight like thirties, you know. And then mm. uh, he gets really mad when people park by his Lexus. So he parks on the line so that nobody parks next to him. What a <laughs> that fucking douchebag! Douche oh my god! So I'm thinking either I've done this uh, approach before, where you uh, right before work ends, you spray uh, pepper spray on the handle, and he won't be able to get home, right? Yeah, because uh, that uh, that's interesting. That's super super irritant. Yeah, like, I I didn't I, I had I had this pepper spray since I was in like high school. And I didn't know it worked. I shot it off in the garbage can in our uh, bedroom. Dude, I got a throat infection. That's how <laughs> fucking potent that shit is. I'm not kidding. I, I had to go like to uh, CVS immediate care. So I got to say, Phil, that still sounds pretty violent. Still so- Okay. So I went to my second option, right? Okay. The daughter. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like where this is going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you guys aware of faceinthehole.com? No. No. It's a website where you replace the face of whatever picture you have. So I'm looking for a picture where somebody is pounding some chick in the ass, and I'm going to put his face on the guy and his daughter's face on the girl. Jesus Christ. Blow it up as a poster and put in Polish, I miss the good old days, daddy. Oh, my oh. God. 
I don't Why? Know. What What I, will this accomplish? I just think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would do dog poop under. That's a classic. Dog poop on the under the car yeah. handle. That's really funny and annoying if you keep. I doing was it. I was just gonna. <laughs> I I was talking to John about this and he's just like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? And because uh, the only he's like, I would have just thrown a box of nails on his driveway. And I'm like, well, yeah, I was gonna do that, but. I don't know. I think he it would fuck with his head more. The daughter thing. <laughs> what about what about let bygones be bygones? Like, well, he does something like a garbage water under the bridge. Yeah. yeah, but still he's. But you know he's gonna be there for years. So and bygones be bygones. That's gonna come back every single day you go in. Sure. He's gonna call. The, he's gonna drop n bombs every day. He's gonna slap shit out of your hand every day. Yeah, so. but showing him a picture of him fucking his daughter isn't gonna help that at all. Would, um, it would be weird if it did. Like he turned a new yeah, leaf. Like, wow. <laughs> actually, actually, so... Yes, I miss those the, old days. I've seen the <laughs> error of my ways. Uh, I'm you finally understand. I uh, just, this is the relationship I want. Like, yeah. Mom, Mom's tits have been sagging. You know? <laughs> this, <laughs> this guy just gave you a raise. Well... <laughs> that is interesting. That yeah, yeah. Raise. That's... I don't know. But yeah, I, I don't know, man. Th- times have changed. You can't be fucking throwing a wrench at someone like some, you know... I don't mechanic in the 50s you know if they get i don't ma- think you have to retaliate i think yeah you know what no you're you're completely correct and uh the the conclusion that i want to get to you know it has worked for me and this is poison no 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 th- <laughs> this is quite dark as well but it's got good effects as in being you know making bygone bygones be bygones I looked up on Google as as much of a bitch as that is to do. Like, what do I do with this boss? Like, what works the best? You don't put f- add to the fire. You don't retaliate. You know what you do? You find out what doesn't set him off. And what I realized is, I just have to laugh anytime he gets too cartoonic, like cartoon like pissed. So I just started. Uh, what's that thing that Michael J. Fox has? The Parkinson's. Shit? I just picture my boss having Parkinson's, oh, God. and it makes me laugh my ass. <laughs> <Like, laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, what isn't that better than than the, the other things? No, I, I mean, I, dude, I, I'm trying to be a good person. I, <laughs> man, that's like if your best option <laughs> is imagining your boss is terminally well, ill. Well, well then he's. Well, he he's dude. He he has like re- he has twitches from how stressed out he is. And so it's e- it's easy that I went to that Shit. route. I I don't know. I well, don't know. you and I have different, I think, perspectives okay. on life. So so how would you guys deal with it? Just fucking chalk it up that you have a shitty boss. Like, what about uh, Chris? Nope. Uh, I don't know. If I had if I had to be there, I don't know what I would do. I mean, you know, and, and I, I told Bill, like, it's a, it's a difficult thing because I, like, I kind of, it's not like, you know, 10 years ago, it's like I'm living with my parents. Oh, I could just switch jobs, like, whatever the fuck, because, what, like, I need to support a family. Sure. And don't have a lot in the bank. So it's kind of, like, hard for me to just be like, oh, well, fuck this job. I'll just get right. a lower paying job with good people there. So you, know. so you need the job. And with that in mind, I don't think, like... <sighs> like pepper spraying his door handle is gonna well the poster thing i mean that's completely legal i think it'd be more interesting if you did the poster thing where he was having sex with you because then that way it's like hiding in plain sight <laughs> there's no way he would be like why would phil do that there's no way phil did it and then he would suspect everyone but <laughs> yeah, yeah but it was 100 percent you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you just act all pissed like oh what is this gross do you see this and now you both have something in common <laughs> also i feel like if i were to do that like that alone is grounds for termination, and but it's outside of work. <laughs> <laughs> I think still, and I think that that might throw your like. Did you talk to the lawyer about this? Like, what do you think? Oh no, like, I would I, not mention this to the lawyer. So you might want to do that because that you, might ruin your case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I'm I'm just gonna let it let it be. I mean, the the one thing that he really pissed me off about was that. He said, I can't have headphones anymore, so you got to hear to these pounding fucking industrial machines all day. Everybody has headphones there. He's just like, because that's a policy, but he's lenient about that, and now it's like, no, no, you reported me, so no headphones, 
And it's like, dude, are you fucking kidding me? There's Polish guys there. They, they, there's people who weld and work on machines in their fucking sandals and socks and instead of steel toe. But they're okay. But not, no, Phil, you got to abide by the rules, you know? Yeah. Well, so. he knows you reported him? Huh? He knows you reported him? Yeah, yeah. Well, they, well I wrote down, like, because I bottle up shit, so I'm not going to, like, oh, he called me a name and then just report him. I wrote down, like, every fucking thing that's happened with him. You know, this shit with the other welders, the, yeah. the shit with, like, oh, the Jews control insurance. And I wrote down every fucking thing, and I put, like, listen. Yeah, and I ended up finding out there's, like, 30 workers, and each worker has at least two to three times that they reported him. But that's, How does he keep his job? Because... I'm not even being an asshole saying this because he's an immigrant who doesn't give a fuck about getting paid shit in yeah. his position. And so they keep him there. Like they're like, there's nobody we're going to be able to have doing his job oh, and pay they, at yeah. that pay. Right. So that's crazy. Yeah. He's really got them by the balls. <laughs> unless I, un- unless, you know, he loses his mind by his, over some posters, you know, ah. <laughs> or, uh, or dude, maybe something we, funny gets added to his water bottle. Uh, did we, uh, did we rule out the poison no, no. <laughs> option? Just a thought. I mean, is that that funny? You know, if I wasn't, if I wasn't, <laughs> dude, if, if, I, if, I, if I wasn't, if I wasn't going out, if I wasn't marrying Kelly, I would totally pull some like. There's something about Mary shit on his daughter, like try and go out with her. See, yeah. <laughs> like, I, oh, hey, I didn't know he was your dad. We're gonna be family. Wh- 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 uh, man, you'd probably get more raises. <laughs> yeah, right. You're marrying this stupid idiot, this child, this worse than broad. <laughs> now I have two broads in the family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He sounds like a class act through and through. I don't under... You know what's funny is he um, he mouthed off to, like, this Puerto Rican guy who, like, used to be in a gang, and he almost got his fucking ass knocked out. And he, like, he, like when he talks to him, he has, like, a stutter. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. But, but, but you see, he has weight because both of them were at the company uh, at the same length. Yeah. So it's not like, I, I mean, I've been there for, like, eight months maybe. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't be able to, you know, grab him by the shirt and throw him at something. Right. And but I, uh. I have to go to the bathroom like nobody's business. Yeah. <laughs> can, should we, we, can we take a break? Do we want to wind down? We should probably wrap up. Yeah, let's wrap it up. You guys wrap it up. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to right. be so unprofessional. <laughs> You're good. All right. But you usually do the wrap-ups. All right. You do the wrap-ups. All right. All right. To all of our fans out there in Ireland or wherever you may be in This has been a great Internet episode. Land. Chris, you are welcome on, you know, numerous times whenever you want to. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. This has been great. Yeah. Do you do you, yeah. you want to plug anything? Do you want to? Uh, yeah. Just uh, real quick. We got a, I, I host a mic at Luna Brewing in Villa Park every Wednesday um, uh, with my, my partner in crime, TJ. So please come out. If you yeah. think about doing stand up, I'm extending it out to you guys too. You know, uh, sign up. It Ooh, says yeah. sign up at nine, and we go on at nine thirty. It's a late. It's a later show. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah. Nice. So there you go. Go check it out at is it Luna or Lunar? Lunar. Lunar Brewing in yeah. Villa Park, and also don't forget to check out your favorite podcast. Hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. Available on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, Blueberry, YouTube. Uh, Ask Jeeves, Alta Vista, uh, Kazaa, <laughs> uh, LimeWire, BearShare. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Varg's personal collection yeah. when you hack it. Yeah. That's right. So to all of us here, to all of you out there, thank you for listening and good night. That was good, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm, I want the delay to watch you suffer. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not going to happen. Chris, pardon me. Don't do that.